Well, I had anticipated a very busy weekend and it did not disappoint in that regard. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. This is your Desert Sky Daily for Sunday, August 13th. Is it the 13th? It's the 13th, 2023. We missed a couple days there. Sorry about that. But as I said on Friday, it was looking like it was going to be a very busy weekend. And it was, aside from the uh, yard work the monsoon caused us and uh, getting a haircut and uh, some commercial filming, some uh, Discover Tombstone filming and trying to get the vlogs done. There was not a lot of time for everything that needed to get done, but we got our yard work a little faster than anticipated. So we are back out here today, just in time, because today is Vigilante Sunday here in Tombstone. Thank you, I appreciate it. My name's Dave. Dave, Joseph. Joseph, you're with the Vigilantes? We are. Um, tell us, for people who are not aware, what do the Vigilantes do? What are they all about? Oh, we put on uh, reenactments of different shows, uh -huh. uh, usually 12.30 to 2.30, and uh, the official ambassadors of Tombstone. Cool, cool. So are they like historical shows or just reenactments? They are. Many Histor of them are. Okay, yes. cool. And they've been around, you guys have been around for how long? 75 years. 75 years, wow. So you're all about just promoting the history and keeping keeping, keeping the West alive. Awesome, very good. Very good, we filmed you guys several times, but other than the reenactments, I didn't know a whole lot about the history and like what you guys did. Yeah, and it's how a lot of fun, all volunteers. <laughs> yeah. Just get out here and have a lot, a lot of fun. Excellent, all right, perfect. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Appreciate you. it. Nice to meet you. You too. Enjoy the rest of your time. Thank you, you too. Remember, if you come out here to stay hydrated, folks, even on a cloudy and cool day like today, I thought this fire truck was here just as part of the show, but it turns out someone over there is having a uh, little bit of a medical issue. Not staying hydrated is what I've been told. Hey, look, there's a mouse running around. <laughs> Look out, mouse! Look out, mouse! <laughs> it's like they are able to get this guy transported without any kind of ambulance or anything like that. Always important to hydrate, even when the sun ain't out. That's what I was just saying. Your beard does not count as I agree. 
<laughs> Whiskey counts as hydration. This is true. <laughs> And just a quick update from the video, the last video on Friday, we took a look at this store here on Fremont Street, Pancho Vegas. I was under the impression that this store had moved or was closed, but you can see the for sale sign here. But I just went in and talked to the owner and she said that they were actually closed for three weeks for some uh, medical stuff that was going on, but they are indeed still open. And as I mentioned on Friday, this is a shop I hadn't been into before. So they said we were good to come in and take a little look around. Check this thing out right as you walk through the front door. And the owner did tell me that the business, is it the business or just the shop that's for sale? Either. The business and the shop are for sale. Or whatever they want. But you can see they have a lot of cool stuff in here, including all the cowboy guns. Another one of these cool shops in Tombstone has all kinds of stuff to check out and they are still open. So make sure you come by and check them out. They're right here on Fremont Street as you come into town. How's it going? Good. Scotty here with the Saloon Theater. For people who might not be aware, tell us about your show. We're in that four historic gun fights. It's a fully narrated show. So we'll show you the first shooting and killing by Billy the Kid. Show you the death of Warren Earp. We we'll also reenact two historic gunfights that actually took place up here on Fifth and Allen. Cool. A fully narrated half hour show. So we'll give you a lot of good true history of Tombstone. And you are right We're over 110, there. 110 South 3rd Street in Tombstone, Arizona. Very cool. And the Saloon Theater. So awesome. Come on down and visit us. I've right? seen the show. It's a great show. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Right over there at the little building right there. Yeah over there and walk inside take some pictures of it Dave. will do thank you yeah. not uncommon to see a few horses out in front of the bars even to this day how you doing good, how are you? good. Scotty said I could just take a look around and I've been in here before, but not for a while. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good. So inside of the saloon theater, I have seen the show in here. It's been a little while, but it is a really good show and it is historically accurate. So come in and check these guys out. What's your name again? Cheryl. Cheryl, okay, I'm Dave. Hi. How are you guys? Mine tour guide. I'm a mine tour guide too, so you probably. That's where that. I know you from, yeah. the mines. Yeah, you yeah. usually have the hard hat on, right? Right. Over here at the Tombstone Courthouse, rumor has it they have a new gift shop that just recently opened, and I think they've got some exclusive merch that's only available through the state parks. So maybe we can go inside and take a look at the gift shop. Let's see what we can find. This must be it right here. Hello. I heard you guys have a new gift shop. Sort of. Sort of? We got, we got brand new things in our gift shop. Is that what it was? Yeah. What's the new stuff? We got new lizard stuffies, uh, new mini building block items over there. Um, we got the Park Ranger Legos. <laughs> and this is the only place that you can get them, right? Here, John, correct. Yeah. yeah, cool. The only place I know that sells in this is <laughs> Plenty of good stuff in here. We got new children's books and middle aged books. So, who's hiding in the desert? <laughs> There's Dr. Seuss's Why Is the Desert Dry. I like 
Who, who did this? That is our best set. <laughs> Adults walk away with that. Ah. I didn't know you had a vault. We have three. What? This is the only one you can go in now. Unless oh, yeah? Chris says otherwise, but he has the keys. So this was what? A, the treasurer's vault. The treasurer's so the vault. The shop is the treasurer's office, or was the treasurer's office. And then the vault is the treasurer's vault. So if you want to know what he would have kept in there, you walk in, turn all the way around on the right side. Okay. treasurers through the years. Probably all of them spent a little time in this room. M.D. Scribner? Scribner? Hmm. A really old cash register. Well, that's something I haven't seen before. Hmm. Cool. Well, we just wanted to take a look around. Through the rest? You want to go through the rest? I think I Because I don't know. I haven't been back here since they did it. Recently redid the gallows here. I think before there were just two nooses, but now there are five to signify the five men that were hung here. Found guilty of the Bisbee robbery. We've talked about that in the past, but it's a little bit more true to life now to how it actually was back in the 1880s. Ed Shefflin's 1860 44, 44 caliber Henry. 1860. So this gun could have been with him when he was out at Brunkhouse Cabin. Like we were talking about at the, I believe it was last week we did the video out at Brunkhouse Cabin. Actually, no, it was two weeks ago. Good possibility this gun could have been out there with him at the time. All right, well, we'll see you soon. Yay. Have a great day. Thank you. Well, the vigilantes do their thing down the road over here at the Tombstone Arcade and now Pizza Shop. I heard they have some new offerings on the menu. Let's see if we can find out what they've got. Hey, Kim. So I heard you guys have some new offerings here. We do have some fun what, new offerings. What is new What's at new the at Hotel, Tombstone? Hotel Tombstone? Well, we'll starting this coming Wednesday, we'll be open Wednesday through Sunday. Okay. Which is nice. Expand a little. Right. And uh, we've got some, yep, we've got some master pizza makers over here. Look at these gals. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese. Uh, yes, cheese, seriously. Plenty so, of cheese. Plenty of cheese. We've got some new pizzas. We've got a Supreme, we've got a Meat Lovers, a veg uh, vegetable, and uh, it's just fantastic. So it is. I've tried it last week, I think. It was very, very good. New, we've got milkshakes. You have milkshakes now, too? Milkshakes now. Milkshakes. Oh, wow. And uh, starting next week, we'll have malt and organic syrups. And so you have the milkshakes sauces. right now? Yep, we can do milkshakes right now. Like a chocolate, chocolate milkshake? Chocolate milkshake. Could I have one? Coming up. Sweet. You got it. <laughs> Milkshakes made from real ice cream. Just like back in the day. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I, appre you I appreciate oh, no, you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy. There Thank it you. is. Thank you. Thank you. Just got my milkshake from the bottom floor here of the Hotel Tombstone. I said Tombstone Arcade, which technically it is, but it's all part of the Hotel Tombstone here. So remember that if you come here. But you're going to get a little bit of the uh, ice cream and uh, whipped cream there. Let's see how it is. really good milkshake it's a pretty thick milkshake but they can make them however you want so I actually like it a lot just the way it is it's very good Yeah. so when you come to tombstone make sure to come here to the hotel tombstone get yourself some pizza a milkshake ice cream all kinds of different stuff and uh, it's all very good and very easy to get to just right off of Allen Street right through the front door of the arcade and you were there all right, guys. Well, I got tons of work to do, so I got to get back to it, and that'll wrap it up for today. But I do appreciate you coming along with us, checking out Vigilante Sunday and a couple other things around town. Do me a favor, hit that like button, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Those things really help us out. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. But that will do it for today. So until next time, until the next video, see you down the road.